Alrighty, what is going on everybody over there at the Crisis Hub? My name is Rush GRG and I'm coming back with you, coming back with episode 3 of Let's Make a Forge mod. And uh, once again, the coding forms will be in the description down below, as well as any other information that I need to give you throughout the video. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when making your basic item, so that's episode 3, making your basic item. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to write a few imports. So the first thing you're going to do is import net.minecraft.item.item. Dot dot item. All right? That's all you're going to need to do for that and you're going to do import uh, cpw.mods.fml.common.registry dot language registry and then that's it that's all you're going to need for now I think yes that's all you're going to need for now so the first thing you're going to want to do is make your class so you're going to come here you're going to do new class and we're going to do tutorial basic items you're going to finish and you're going to come in here again and you're going to do import net.minecraft dot item dot item and then you're going to come down here and you're going to do extends item so you're extending onto the item class now right here you're going to come down here you're going to add constructor you're going to get rid of this auto generated stub you're going to come here you're going to replace both of these with ID. So int par1 is going to be ID, and then super ID is going to be ID as well. And you're going to save this. Now that this is saved, you're going to come back here and you're going to go under instance right here. We're going to do uh, a little comment here, and we're going to make it items. So you just do two forward slashes to do a comment. Now you're going to come here and you do public final static and you're going to do item and then ruby because we're going to make a ruby. You're going to do equals new and then um, tutorial basic item items. You're going to go here and you're going to do your um, your ID number, which is going to be 2000. You're going to do dot set max stack size. Tutorial base. Oh, God darn it. Okay, we have to open this up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this B. And then uh, delete this B. And we're going to rename that to that. Okay. And that should okay. So now that that's fixed. Dot set max stack size. You're gonna do 64, and then you're gonna want to do dot set creative tab, and then creative tabs dot material, and then. You're going to import your creative tabs, which is up there, as you can see, and then you're going to tab mod, dot materials. My bad. And now you're going to have to do your function. I mean your uh, dot tab materials. Okay, that worked. All right. So now you're going to want to do your texture. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Minecraft source. So you're, to get to this, you just go to your tutorial mod, forge, MCP, source, Minecraft, and there you go. So you're going to create a new folder. You're going to name it assets. Okay, so inside of this, you're going to then name a new folder, um, whatever the name, whatever name you want of your mod. So rushed U-R-G-T-U-T, -T, and you're going to open this up, and then new folder textures and then inside of here you're going to do two new 
folders and you're going to do blocks sorry if you can hear my dogs barking can't control that and then rename and then items and then in here you're going to want inside of your items you're going to place your item texture 16 by 16 ruby this is from the uh, uh, more recipes plus I don't know how link that but I don't know if they'll link it in the description down below um, the forum post to my mod that I run so now that you have that you're gonna come here and do dot f u n c the top one right here so one 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 two oh six underscore d double click on that and now you're going to do a, uh, a quotation marks and then whatever you name that folder so rushed you r g t u t and then you're gonna do a semicolon and then ruby all right, so now what this pretty much does is, as you can see right here, this is the texture folder, and then it's since it's an item and it's a function for that, you're going to do uh, the underscore D one, and then this is the name of the PNG. So Ruby is the name of PNG, as you can see right here, Ruby PNG. So now we're going to have to actually give our little friend a name. So we're going to go down to our public void load, and this is why you imported your language reg registry. You're going to do another sub uh, thing, and it's going to be items. You're going to do language and then registry dot add name, and then you're going to do whatever you name your item up there, Ruby, and then Ruby. and you're going to need another quotation mark to finish that off so as you can see up here you named it Ruby you're going to need to come down here and name it Ruby so now that you have all of this you're going to save it and after you saved it you're going to run your client now this should work um, based on my past um, experiences you come right here, maximize this, you're going to do mods, as you can see here is our mod that is being loaded, single player, new world, and then you're going to go into your creative menu, tab.materials, there it is, Ruby. Now if you want to make this do something special, you're going to have to look up for the codes to how to make things do certain things, like so if you press it, say uh, on right click, you want it to, upon right clicking, you want it to like shoot lightning bolts down I don't know but uh since I have my frames capped on here it's gonna look really laggy so that's pretty much all you have to do for a ruby or any item in the game pretty much that's just a basic item so we could do another one right now if you want which I'll just do another one for example purposes only you don't have to watch past here um, just for anybody who's wanting another um, another uh, thing on how to make a Items. So you're going to do public static item sapphire. Okay, and then you're going to do equals new tutorial basic items. I want to do this ID as 2001. We're going to do dot set max stack size to 64 can't go any higher than 64. 64 is the max, 1 is the uh, least. And then you're going to do dot set creative tab. You're going to do creative tabs. Creative tabs. I wish I could see. Dot tab materials. You're going to do dot function 111. So 111. I'll write it out this time dot f u n c dot f u n c underscore one 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 two o six two o six underscore d and then you're gonna go right here and you're gonna do rushed oops rushed u r g t u t semicolon and then you're going to do sapphire okay and you're going to put a semicolon on the end and then uh, you're going to come down here language registry dot add name 
sapphire sapphire okay and we're gonna come into here our items folder we're gonna copy over our sapphire from our um, from the whatever it's called what is that more recipes plus mod and then you're gonna save it save all and then it's going to launch our game once again game is launched mod is loaded wish to continue yes and then tab that materials sapphire and ruby oh who we have a name bug hold on so I guess we can do a little name bugging now so sapphire sapphire and then did I make the hmm I had this same problem on my um, on my other one, and I had to work out the bug somehow. So we're gonna cut this. We're gonna go down. We're gonna paste. We're gonna save it. We're gonna put a. It's. It could be just a. Everything's too close together for it, and it's reading over. And that was the problem I had last time. See, now you get to see a little bit of uh, bug fixing and stuff. Um, for when you uh, log into the game, you, or for when you watch this video, you can see how you can fix bugs and stuff if they are uh, if they are being a problem. So now, holding a sapphire, and we're still holding two sapphires. So. I don't really know how to fix this bug. I guess you're just going to have to rewrite the code, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah, you're going to have to mess around with it. It will eventually work. I, just, I don't know what I actually did to fix it on my other one. But uh, I'll just keep this other item out of it for now. Um, I feel like I'm making a stupid mistake, but uh, whatever. All right, so now that we have our stuff in, that's pretty much all I got for you today, guys. Sorry that I had that little buggy thing going on at the end. I don't know what was going on. But uh, anyways, this this was a shorter video. Um, next time, maybe if I get the uh, stuff fixed up and uh, I can get the sapphire back into the rotation of the code, then we'll be able to ha have <coughs> excuse me, two uh, items and two blocks and so on and so forth. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.